Hello and welcome to Brick Tip number 57. If you enjoy seeing our videos about designing with LEGO, please consider supporting us on Patreon. I'm still working on the swing carousel build, and one of the distinctive features of swing carousels is that the top of the carousel actually lifts to bring the swings off the ground so that as it swings around there's lots of clearance for the swings and there's no possible collision with the ground. In a real carousel they would use hydraulics to lift it and while I could have used the Lego pneumatic system to achieve that I decided a simpler way would be to use a scissor lift. The concept behind a scissor lift is very simple. If you have several equal lengths of beams and you join them in the center and then on the ends, as you pull the two ends and the bottom together, the beams all extend out to their full length and give you a much longer reach. So it can be used for such things as extend a clause or the old punching gag where you have the boxing glove on the end of the arms. But more practically it's used in construction in cherry pickers and scissor lifts to bring a heavy load up to a much greater height. So that was the idea behind this lift. And this is just a prototype proof of concept to see if it would actually work. So one thing I wanted to be really sure of is that this device would be very simple to operate and in fact this runs on a single gear. So as we turn this gear, it lifts the entire scissor lift. That's because the adjoining gear will turn in the opposite direction bringing the two end sections together. Before I tear it apart, I want to talk about these beams and these blocks out here on the end. So what I wanted to make sure is that the beam that is being lifted stays level. So it is guided by these bricks on the outside and these beams. And while this construction is really wobbly, I just put it together with frictionless pins because I knew I'd be tearing it apart again. It works perfectly for keeping that load level. If I made the, these beams much more firm, then there wouldn't be any give at all and it would be lifting up and down in perfect unison. So the only really complicated part is these cams. So they're just offset from the main axle. So as we turn one gear, the other gear turns, bringing those two end sections together. So here we have the actual scissor lift part. And as I said, as we pull these two ends together, those sections extend out. The only other part of this construction was just keeping these beams in alignment and I did that with some other Technic beams. Scissor lifts are really simple construction. You can use them for lifting all sorts of loads. Maybe you want to build an elevator like this or you can lift some heavy loads like I'm going to be doing with the top of the carousel or if you want you can also use them as a launching platform. So hopefully you find a use for something like this and hopefully this was inspirational and will help you out in your own designs. If it was, please hit the like and subscribe button and share it around so other people can learn from it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming in bricks. Bye bye.